Namaste India, my name is Navid Sol. I was on Big Boss Season 17. I hope you're enjoying the channel and make sure to tune in to Teleglam. Thank you very much, Shokriya. Thank you. Thank you. So, hi Navid, welcome to Teleglam. Thank you. Namaste, Telegram. How are you? How are you? Thank you. Shokriya. So, now how's life going? Like, after Big Boss, it has been, I think, for two, three days. So, yes. how's everything going now? Everything is bohot, bohot, acha. I'm very enjoying the experience. The support has been amazing from the fans, and I'm so grateful, really. Okay. So, after, you know, when you have, when you got an opportunity for Big Boss, mm -hmm. when you entered in the house, so who was the first person you trusted, and that person has betrayed you? The first person who I trusted and betrayed me was definitely Anurag. Anurag in the beginning was very sweet to me, saying you're my bohot bohot friend, you're a very good friend. But every time he nominated me and backstabbed me for using translation, translation. So I think Anurag, you need to chal chal, go away, chal con. Okay, so Anurag has you know backstabbed uh, Sonia also, Manasi also. So do you think his game is this only? I think this is his game. He tries to play both ways. And he's not playing a good game. This is why Manasvi put that Anurag is a traitor. He's a traitor and he's pohot kalat. Yes. Also, you know, uh, he said one thing that uh, we three YouTubers, as in Anurag, Arun and uh, Sunny, have become a joker in the house. So do you think that is uh, right? They are the joker? To be honest, I think, to be honest... <sighs> I don't know about Joker, but they're not playing a good game because I feel like being manipulative and fake is the wrong game. And I hope the audience will see that. Okay. Except this, who is the uh, you know, mastermind of the house? The mastermind on the house is definitely Vicky Bai because Vicky is very smart. He wants to win the game and he's very passionate about Big Boss. So I think Vicky is the mastermind. Uh, came uh, uh, in a stop that is uh, Sana Khan mm. so uh, what, is, what is your take on that you know? I think Sana is playing good game with Vicky because I think the way they were holding hands Vicky and Sana is all for the camera for footage because you know Sana is very smart she's a lawyer so I think it's all fake and she's doing this to stay in the house and I think she's using Vicky to try and stay in the house for longer very smart Mm. Also, I want to know that whenever nomination comes and she gets nominated, that and she gets so wild, you know, sh so loud. So, what's her game? Do you know any uh, thing? She's a very confused uh, individual in the house. She doesn't know what she's doing. She's only angry when she gets nominated. Apart from that, she's always like, <sighs> very boring, you know, nothing, no personality. I think also she needs to be out of the house soon. Yes, you know, talking about, you know, out of the house, uh, just we came to know that Jigna is out of the house. Mm. So, what is your take on that? Are you happy or sad for her? You know what, I'm upset that Jigna went out yesterday because I think it should have been Telka or Sana that needed to go. But I, but I think Jigna, she was very strong. She played a good game and I want the best for Jigna. I love you, Jigna. Okay, so Jigna, you know, initial, initially, in initial days, No, she's not a weak contestant. She's a strong competitor competitor. But I think she's like she's a person that doesn't like to fight or shout. You know, she only wants to shout or fight if it's the right thing, you know. People do in the house many fighting for footage. And it's not right, it's, it's fake, you know. You have to be organic and authentic. So I think Jigna did her best. And, you know, she did, she lasted for six weeks. Six weeks is very good still in the house. Correct, yes. Okay, talking about Sunny. Sunny and Arun, uh, ah. they both are just sleeping yes. and eating food. Uh, do you think uh, this time Big Boss is biased? 
I think this time Big Boss is biased because Telka and Aaron, they do nothing in the house, only in the bed, only in bed. And I think even Big Boss was biased towards me because Big Boss wasn't supporting me by saying, please make sure you translate for Navi. Navi is equal, like all of you, you have to translate for him. So I think Big Boss is biased and this season is not fair. I don't think it's right. It's ghalat. As you said, you know, Big Boss is biased and he did not get any translator uh, as a friend. So we just want to know, uh, do you think this was a uh, disadvantage of, uh, for you? It was, yes, it was definitely a disadvantage because I think if somebody helped to translate properly, I would be a very strong competitor. Even now I'm a strong competitor, but I think because they were scared of me or threatened by me, they were trying to manipulate the translation so I don't understand. And uh, it's very disappointing. But even Salman Sir told the contestant in the first week, you have to translate for Navid. But nobody listened, which is very disappointing. Could you raise your voice for this, you know, translation? I, yes. You have mentioned in one of the interviews with Tasoli that Munawar uh, used to tell you opposite things. Mm. Uh, did you ever, you know, raise your voice to Big Boss and say that these things are happening with me? This is wrong. I did, and I had a fight with Sana, and I said, Sana, you're two-faced, two-faced, because I said to her that you cannot use translation as my weak target, you know, and I made it very loud so everybody understands. But unfortunately, they weren't, like, still they were doing it every single time. And I'm just like, I think they must be acting silly or they don't seem to understand. They don't have demag, you know, no brain for them not to understand. Also, you know, this time people are uh, very hungry for the game. Uh, uh, as we see, do you think that? I think people are very hungry to win. But I think, to be honest, most of the people in the house, they don't know what they're doing. I think they're lost in the game. You know, like Ashwari is lost. Neil is lost. Um, Anurag doesn't know what he's doing. Sana is lost. So many people don't know what they're doing. Telka, Aaron. So I think they're there by chance, by luck. And still people are supporting them. People are still supporting them, which is, again, is biased because I think Big Boss only shows them when they're out of the bed. In 24 hours, about 16 hours, 17 hours, they're in the bed. Yeah. Only four or five hours, they're maybe walking around or talking. So Big Boss is very biased with tel for, for, for me, but th he's doing very good for Telka and Aaron. Also, you know, we would like to know the huge statement came out from your side about Afishay. And uh, that you are in love with yes. Oh God. <laughs> I know. So, uh, you know, when we saw that today, he was crying so much yes. when you got eliminated. So, what do you have to say on that? What are the feedback that you are getting from the, you know? The you know, the feedback I'm getting is very nice. They're all very supportive. People are saying that it's not, people think it's not relationship, it's friendship. But I think they're galat because the connection I felt with Abhishek was really special. And I'm waiting for him in India until he comes out because I really want to see Abhishek and uh, really to understand, you know, mine and his connection because he's a very, very nice guy and I like him too much. If, you know, things doesn't work out as in, in a relationship, yeah. then what will, will you be a friend with him or no? I will, in, I will be very upset. I'll be like, no, like, you know, I would be disappointed. But you know what? Whatever happens, he will still be a good friend because he has supported me on this journey and he's a beautiful heart. He's got a beautiful soul. Yes, also he has taught you one Hindi slang that is uh, uh, Larky Can't. Yes. yes, I remember. <laughs> so he taught me Larky Can't, which I think means you are beautiful in Punjabi. Yes? yes. <laughs> also, you know, uh, one of your words that is I honestly think that we shouldn't label. I think love is love no matter what you are. Lo love it could be as in friendship, could be romantic. So I don't think nobody needs to be upset because it's all about the connection. And uh, 
if two people love each other, you never know what can happen. So please, nobody should be upset. And it's all about going with what destiny has to bring. Leave it to destiny. Also, you know, we, uh, we want to ask you one more question. That uh, there's a man, there's a woman. Mm. When, when it comes to transgender, when it comes to bisexual, gay, so people get offended by that thing. So do you think uh, nowadays, in this modern age, people should get offended with this? Because this industry is working on uh, bisexual, gay, mm. and more people are there in this. That's a very good question. To be honest with you, I feel like personally that love is love no matter what you are. And I feel like nowadays we have to all respect each other because it's all about being inclusive. So you, all you have to do is respect and you shouldn't be judging because we are human beings. And because somebody likes somebody, if he's trans, gay or whatever, you just have to respect it and not be rude about it. Because, you know, we live in an open society and... We should all love and work together as a community and all support each other rather than being hate, throwing hate to each other. Correct, right. Uh, also, I want to know, who is the weakest contestant in the house? There's many weak contestants in the house. So definitely, um, Aaron is weak. He doesn't do nothing. Telk is weak. Sana is weak. And also, I think Samrat is very weak as well. He doesn't do nothing in the house, Samrat. He's only just with Isha. Yes, also, as you, as you mentioned, Samrat and Isha, so uh, when Samarth and Isha, Samarth came in the house, the whole, you know, uh, uh, the footage concentration, uh, concentration went on them. So what is your take on this? What is Isha's game? I think Isha is playing a good game, but I think she's using the relationship as a way to go for, further down the house. Um, she's a very, she is a good competitor, I respect her, but she needs to stop with this whole relationship thing and always arguing with Summer, it's getting boring and it's too much for the camera. So do you think Isha is making jealous uh, of Isha? I think Isha is doing this, I don't know, I feel like the way Isha is doing this is making Abhishek, I think she wants a reaction from Abhishek. And I don't think it's a good move. I think it's khalat. You don't do that. Because uh, Abhishek is being very strong. But I think Isha is like trying to play this thing of the love, you know, like the triangle thing. But I hope the audience see that it's getting a bit too much. You know, when you saw this breakdown of Abhishek, yeah. what did you feel, you know, when you have... When you yeah, the I was very upset. To be honest, my heart broken for Abhishek. And that was the time I became very close with Abhishek because I saw he was so upset. And I don't know, it just it didn't feel right. And it really hurt. It really hurt. It was not nice. So, so did you ever feel, you know, crying? Like, you know, when he is crying. So you... Yes. Well, whenever Abhishek, he cries. He cries from the heart. He's not fake. He's a very genuine guy. And I feel like he's a very honest person. But only thing with Abhishek, he fights too much. And I told him many times, no fighting, no fighting. You need to relax, you know. So uh, he's a great guy, and I think he will go very far in the game. And I hope he does well. Hopefully. Also, you know, do you think uh, Abhishek's emotions have been played in Big Boss House? Because Khanza, they make Yes. Also, each of plays his music. So do you think that? I definitely think that. I feel like uh, with Abhishek, Every girl was like, reject you know, we played the game and they put rejected, rejected, rejected. And I said, Abhishek, all these people are rejecting. You don't waste your energy. You waste, you put your energy on me. I give you all the good energy. You know, you need to come to me. Forget this lady, you know, forget them. They don't give you time and attention. I give you time. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. So as you mentioned, you know, Vicky is the mastermind. And I have also asked you this, that, you know, Vicky has had a word with Abhishek mm. and Yes. What? Is it the one about me and Abish? Yes. I, th I think Vicky was galat because I think Vicky doesn't, he's not in the connection to understand me and Abhishek. And I think Vicky saying that is playing with Abhishek's head. So I don't think he should do that because connection is just two people if they like each other. And I think Vicky should have not got involved because it's none of his business. Correct. Right, right. Also talking about Ankita. So, yes. Uh, Yes. 
No, I think it's galat because Vicky needs to support Ankita because Ankita she she needs you know she she she's a good you know she's a strong competitor but she still wants that support from the husband you know it's the husband right so I think Vicky needs to also think about Ankita more and not to be too much focused on the game because his brain is always in the game so he needs to put his attention to Ankita as well. Yes, you know. Yes. If you know Sushant Singh Rajput who were who committed suicide and uh, he uh, and she was uh, in relationship yeah. and now she is recalling <coughs> Sorry. Oh, Thank you. So uh, we want to know that did you have any word regarding you know Sushant Singh and Ankita's relationship? Oh about is the Sushant the ex partner. Yes. yes, I spoke to her about her previous uh, relationship. And the only thing she said to me is that I don't want to speak about it right now, but she said it really, really, it really hurt her. And I think she still might have feelings for the ex-partner because I could sense she still has that emotional connection with her when I was asking her that question. Yes, in, in fact, uh, with uh, one of the conversations with Munawar, she also mentioned that she has not gone in his funeral because uh, she can't see that. Yes. I think she found it very hurtful and uh, you know Ankita she's got a pure heart she's got a beautiful heart and I think that you know she she loves people so I think this is why it hurts her because she wants to show that love and that compassion you know Also talking about Ashwarya mm. who do you think is a deserving personality in the house Ashwarya Deserving personality I think uh, Neil Neil, I think, has more to give, but I think Neil is always trying to protect Ashwarya from not getting angry. Uh, so I think that in that way, Neil is losing his personality. So I just want to see more of Neil. But I can see it's there, the personality, but it needs to be more. But with Ashwari, there's more fighting. I think she just wants to fight, fight, like Chihuahua, like waf, 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 you know? <laughs> also, you know, Ashwari disrespect her husband. So do you think this is right on the national territory? Yeah, I don't think you should disrespect anyone. It's all about respecting your partner and showing love and understanding. But you know, in every relationship, you have fight and you have good times, so it's normal. But uh, too much is also not good. You know, you're not setting a good image uh, to the audience. You know, you want to be strong. Also, you know, Neil is always, uh, you know, there with uh, Ashwarya and not giving his output mm. much in the house. So. Absolutely. I think if either Ashwarya or Neil, one of them leaves the house, the true personality will come out. So <clears throat> I think if they're together, their personality is lost and they're lost in the game. But if they play individually, they will do a bohot bohot acha game. Right, right. Also talking about Manara. So what do you think Manara is playing like Era Banti Pera Kilana Manara? Manara, she's playing a very good game. And I, and I love her too much. She's my bestie, my BFF. But I like how she's playing. She's like playing this. Harcha, harcha, barcha, hasar. She's playing that sassy, sassy vibe. And I like her. She's a, she's a sweetheart. And I can't wait to see her after she leaves the house. Also, you know, uh, sometimes she has a point out on the characters, like a contestant mm. character. So do you think this is the right way when she plays the characters? That is okay. When others say that is wrong. I think, to be honest, Manara, she's someone that expresses her true feelings. If she thinks something is right, she says it. If she thinks something is wrong, she will also say she's very opinionated. So that's why she's a strong player. Okay. So do you think Manara and Manawar's relationship is uh, coming out uh, good or people are loving I don't think it's coming good. I think it's Khalat because it's coming out that they're boyfriend and girlfriend and Munawar has a girlfriend outside. So I think this is very wrong, and I hope Manara she realizes that because it's not going in the good direction; it's Alat direction. Yes. Also, you know, uh, people are saying that uh, uh, Manara is covering Manara all the time, and yeah. she's always talking about him. Uh, you know, making making her understand and all. Because of that, Manara's game is not coming out. So do you think this is? It's true. I think Manara is trying to protect Manara too much. 
And I think Munavar, he's lost in the sense of his personality. We haven't seen his true personality because he's too focused on winning the game. And I think that's not nice because Big Boss is all about TV personality. Yes, and correct. And he's in Temptation Island. So uh, what do you have to say on that? Jad, I want to say that I'm very supportive of you. You're doing very good. You're flirting with all the girls. Um, I can't wait to see you outside and hopefully we'll go around Mumbai. Very you well. might you might win my heart over Abhishek maybe. <laughs> you know, when he was inside, he was out that this oh. went viral with Akansha. Oh, with the, and, with the uh, yes, yeah. I saw... Absolutely. He's very flirty. I think he's more flirty than Abhishek. He's so, very naughty. Are you going to, uh, you know, go uh, in uh, Temptation Island to support him? Definitely. I want to go there and you never know. Maybe I might go on the show with Abhishek down the line. You never know and see what happens. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> so, any last message? What do you have to say to your fans and viewers? And what was your aim to go in Big Boss House? And that has been, you know, something. To be honest, my aim in Big Boss was to stay only for four weeks. I said if I stay there for one month, it's very good, at least for one month. So at least I achieved my aim. And I'm very supportive to all the fans who've supported me. I've been getting so many messages. And they're all saying I should go back as wild card. And uh, let's see what happens. Fingers crossed. But honestly, the support has been amazing. So thank you. If you will, if you will go as a wild card, then who are you going to back? Oh, if I go there as well, I'm definitely going to bash Aaron. I think I still have unfinished business with him. And I still want to explore Abhishek a bit more and see what can happen between me and him. And so who you are you going to meet outside and uh, you're not going to meet outside? I think I'm going to meet everyone in the uh, everyone outside, only apart from uh, from Aaron. Um, Aaron, I don't like. He's, and uh, Aaron and um, Anurag. These two I don't like at all. They're not nice people. Thank you so much to all my beautiful fans supporting me on this journey. You guys have been incredible and I love you. Thank you so much. How do you say I love you in Hindi? How do you say I love you in Hindi? Maybe I'll do sorry. Tu me to me PR Kartam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.